element that wants to explode. Toss the ingredients about like a dainty anarchist. Here's a bit of dynamite from a childhood vacation. Some anger at the state of the nation. <laughs> Some salt for my wounds. Some sugar for my sweet truth. Minding for memories, finding none to spare, all I do is stare. I gaze out the window at a piss yellow building as the blue and cloudy sky chatters like clattering chains on the floor of a mausoleum scattered with soggy veins. I am purposefully lost in my whiskers, frisky in my artful riskiness or risky artfulness, <laughs> wow. frustrated by the empty sifting of these shifting, sand drifting words beached like a condom left by a now burned out bonfire <laughs> on a cold <laughs> beach, out of reach. What a bitch! What a bitch! When the poem won't come and the looming judge inside begins his contemptuous asides. <laughs> Despair in the air of my brain, snorting the pain of self-disgust and the sure knowledge that this business of making is completely insane. And why can't we all get jobs that we can keep? <laughs> <laughs> It is not so easy to get a job that you can keep. Especially not if you give a rat's ass about poetry. <laughs> <laughs> Me. I keep running out of positions, scandalized by intuitions too readily drip to drip drying colleagues, those crusty, brainwashed skeletons with dusty teeth. Sooner or later, somebody always says, are you sure that you really belong? Huh. Not that there's anything wrong. <laughs> always the same old song. Not that there's anything wrong with us. But this nagging distress that insists, if we do anything, anything at all, but make poetry and art, good or bad, our time is wasted in a stillness, unspringing, like a frog, some filthy bastard stuffed with buckshot. <laughs> I sit and stare out the window and wait for the explosive poem to shout. Some of us are loaded guns. Better Watch out. <laughs> Huzzah!